Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to come your way and minister to you through God's word. This week we've been talking about discipline and how godly discipline is important in each of our lives. Today we talk about surrendering all. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 through 4. The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. Now the word surrender is a battle term. It implies giving up all rights to the conqueror. When an opposing army surrenders, they lay down their arms and their weapons and the winners take control over them from then on. Surrendering to God works the same way. God has a plan for our lives. That means we surrender whatever plan we have, we set it aside and eagerly seek His plan for our lives. The good news is that God's plan for us is always for our best interest. There are different levels of surrender of which each level affect our relationship with God. Initial surrender is drawing to the leading of the Holy Spirit to, which leads to salvation. When we let go of our own attempts to gain God's favor, we rely on the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. But there are times of greater surrender. During our Christian life, uh, we get into deeper intimacy with God, with and greater power in service. The more our, our life is surrendered to Christ, the more room for Him to fill us with the power of His Holy Spirit. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we exhibit traits of His character. The more we surrender to God, the more disciplined we become. Fasting is also a healthy ex exercise. It can make us aware of His life-changing power within us. And after a period of fasting, we'll notice that there are many character issues or traits that we can do without in our lives. As a sign of devotion to the Lord, we may want to give up old habits and develop a new spiritual discipline. But this is going to take some hard work. For example, it's not easy to give up an unruly tongue or a wandering eye or an unchecked eating or drinking habit. Few of us leave everything behind just like Abraham did or just like even Jesus' his disciples did. But most of us make step-by-step -step changes. The Bible shows us that Abraham and the disciples of Jesus struggled along their way with God. They didn't make progress on their own, but they did it with God and, with, and as God as their strength. But wherever we are on our way with the Lord, we have the opportunity to listen to His voice. Today, you and I have the opportunity to hear His voice and to obey his call. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this opportunity to just be in your word, oh God. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will minister to each of us, that we will surrender our own plans, our own purposes, and align our thoughts and plans to you, O oh God. Lord, we pray that you will work in each of our lives, that your presence, your glory will be seen in our lives. We thank you, Father, for doing this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.